Dear Lily. Hi, Lily. Hello, Hello Miss Baldwin. Baldwin. I was also stalked. I've been stalked before. And I'm, I'm living, living your, your nightmare. nightmare. My former boss stalked me. It was difficult to be me. The judge I asked for a protection order said that my stalker was not considered an imminent stalker. And while I showed a log indicating the time and dates the stalker came by, it still wasn't enough for the judge to consider my I'm going to take you along with me into my world. The world of being stalked. How it all played out and how it changed my life. I remember that you were disguising yourself. That was when you started using a fake name. Then fast forward, all of a sudden the police were saying, you gotta get out of town. We are trying to locate him, but it's moving sort of very fast. And you are in danger. I would like to report a stalker. Do you want to report a what now? A stalker. How we measure violence when there's no obvious blood. I'm calling it invisible violence. So you're always going to feel that fear. That fear is not weakness, so that fear is fuel. You want to get in that mindset where, like, this is not a person anymore. This is your stalker. This is the person blocking you from freedom. And I, 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 this is happening now. It's been 13 years. Oh, he's still harassing? Yeah, and I have no order of protection. Thanks to you, ironically. This is a modern fable for our culture of visibility, in which being seen is currency, power. We want followers. We don't want to be followed. I'm Lily Baldwin, and this is Stories of the Stalked, an Audible original. <laughs>